welcome back to Borders Pacific Northwest. We have been making the rounds and seeing our friends before we moved to Portugal. There's Tony driving around there. Um, anyways, uh, thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe so you can keep up to date on what's going on. We are actually heading to Bodega Bay right now. I think we're gonna camp at Bodega Dunes Campground or maybe Doran State Park. We camped at those places, geez, 20 years ago? Yeah. Geez, oh my gosh, I'm dating myself, 20 years ago. So back out to the beach, we have a few days before I fly out to Tampa to visit family. We're also taking the RV to get looked at because we got new rotors and brakes in Oregon before we left, and when we back up, it's making this horrendous squealing sound. So we have an appointment on Wednesday morning at eight o'clock in Santa Rosa to get that checked out. And then yeah, I fly out on Thursday, so we'll probably get closer to San Francisco so we don't have to get up so early to drive. But yes, just uh, follow us along, stay tuned. Just uh, everyday life with us in the RV. Rusty is back here, taking a little nappy poo. And yeah, thanks. It's a beautiful winter day here in California. So this is the drive from Windsor, California to Bodega Bay. Um, and it's just beautiful, so I thought I'd get a little screenshots here so you can see how blue the sky is. Not much traffic on a Sunday. Um, it's supposed to be like this all day today, and then I think tomorrow it gets cloudy, and then on Tuesday it starts raining again, unfortunately. We are pulling into Bodega Bay. Looks beautiful out still. And we're looking for Bodega Dunes Campground or Doran State Park Campground. I think Bodega Dunes, our friends recommended that campground and you're literally camping in the dunes and then up over the dunes is the bay. So we'll see. We'll see what it looks like and what we decide and if there's vacancy. I feel like all coastal towns look the same. You got the buoys hanging off fences, you got flags, you got kites and trinket shops, treasures as they say. So now we're heading out of town a bit to the other side. Yeah, I don't know where it's at, but I'm sure we'll find it soon. All right, so we're pulling into Bodega Dunes Campground. So you gotta go all the way through Bodega Bay to the other side, and then you'll run across it on the left. People walking. There's quite a few trails. Some of the trails you can take your pets on and some you can't. I think the reason for that is there's so much wildlife. There's deer, turkeys, all kinds of animals out and about. Don't really want the dogs chasing those. Well, looks like there's a little shack up here where we can ask if they have any vacancy. It is the off season, so we're not really finding any trouble finding campgrounds, but we shall see. So there's no one in the shack, so we're just gonna go drive through and see if there's any openings for the campgrounds. I did see a sign that said no dogs on the beach, which is disappointing. I suspect we'll still go on the beach with Rusty. We'll be breaking that rule. <laughs> yeah, Tony said we'll be breaking that rule. This guy knows we're getting close to getting out. He starts getting a little restless, starts peeking his head out. I'm gonna open the window for him so he can smell. Ooh. Ooh, Rusty, you like that. He's smelling the outdoors. Hey buddy, what are you doing? ready to get out aren't you and play doesn't look like there's any full hookups here but we're just driving around to find the, the best spot um, we usually like to stay kind of close to the bathroom um, they look pretty secluded which is nice can't tell if I guess if something is reserved it would have a sign that one says do not occupy so make it pretty easy that looks like the bathrooms over there saw some water, but we may have to try the other loop. Lots of vans, I notice. People camping in their vans. The 
This one looks like it's reserved. Okay, so if we find one that has no signs, Tony, I think we'll be fine. What do you think? Like that one didn't have anything. But let's try the other loop and see if there's a more secluded area where we can play with Rusty. So we're gonna go look at the other loop in the campground and see how that looks. Oh, my face is a little red. I think I'm a little warm. Anyways, um, it looks like it's quite a bit farther away from the first loop, but we're curious if there's hookups and yeah, what those trails look like. Okay, so we figured out the spot we want is number 37, so we need to go get the slip so we can fill it out and pay. Um, and it's close to the bathrooms, there's a good area to play with Rusty, and it's close to the trail to get to the dunes and to the beach. Checking out the bathrooms, I'm seeing if there is showers. No, let's look on the other side. Ooh, this is so pretty. Showers, closed for repairs. Um, that one's in use. All right, we'll have to figure that out. Change of plans. We are heading to Duran State Park because the bathrooms, well, the bathrooms are fine, but the showers are closed for repair. And I hate showering in this little one, and we don't have hookups. So, yeah, we're going to the state park because the showers will be available. And, well, we don't know, but we think there'll be showers. And we don't know if there'll be hookups there. So we're going to go check out the other campground before we make a decision. Uh-oh, I hear sloppy wet water. Little pit stop for Moo Moo's here. Does he look wet? Yeah. Oh, Rusty, this way! Over there! Oh, cars, be careful. Rusty! <laughs> he ran the opposite direction. Dork. Alright, I'm out of the way. You can throw this way. Gotta burn off some steam. Make a little sleepy puppy. Okay, we're heading into Duran Beach State Park, which is literally right on the beach. So we're gonna check this out, see if they have any available spots, and call it a day. Just relax, play on the beach. Hopefully, Rusty can be on this beach. We used to camp here when our kids were little. It's been 20, 20 years or more. This entryway looks just the same, that's for sure. And the US Coast Guard Station is out here too. The Dega Bay Coast Guard Station, which is kind of cool. Reminds me of our Coast Guard days. All right. Look at that view. Wow. Winter in California, I highly suggest it, as long as it's not raining. It's about 52 degrees Fahrenheit right now, which in the sun, it feels definitely warmer. In the shade, still a little chilly, but there's no wind, so that makes it feel a bit better. Oh good, we might be able to register and pay right here if they have openings. Sweet! So he told us to go scope out what campsite we want and he said we actually need to make the reservations online. So we're going to go see what's open first and then make the reservation and then go back up to get our tags. So we're just going to go see what's available. Where's your stick? Rusty! Where's the stick? Find it! Find it! So our campsite is like right over there and I can see the ocean from our campsite. I'll video that video that shortly, but Rusty was a spaz. I had to take him off the leash because he was dragging me down the beach. Rusty! Come on! Rusty! I'm so 
happy right now. Like the fact that we're camping almost literally on the beach makes me so happy. Can you feel that wind? I should say, can you hear that wind? It's crazy. Um, this makes me realize that when we move to Portugal as one of our home bases, I think I have to live close to the beach because I want to do this every day. Like I can picture myself walking on the beach every single day, just like this. I'll get you some shots of the beach here shortly. That ocean rumble. Look at the sky. It's so blue. So the tide's clearly out right now. Looks like it comes up pretty far. Could have been from all the storms we had, but yeah, this is fantastic. Gonna start backing up here. Oh, I love that sound. Anyone else? Okay, so here's the beach, and here's the trail to the road, and just across the road is our RV. You can see it right over there. So we're like super close. See that sun seeker over there? Right there. That's us. Practically on the beach. So yeah, there's a nice little path across here. This is a pretty busy road, so right now there's no cars though. But yeah, look at campground, road, beach. And yeah, we're coming right over here. So this was $35 a night, no hookups, but pretty sure there's shower, showers in the bathroom. He dropped his ball, Tony. I'll grab it. <laughs> Now I'll just grab it. So yeah, there's the RV right there. Super close to the beach. Right by the RV here. And you can see that that's the road I just crossed. And the beach is like right there. So this is our campsite. And as I mentioned, the beach is right over there. And then we're super close to the showers. They're right here. So I'm gonna go check them out and see if it takes quarters or if they're free or what. So yep, we got showers. Ooh, pretty good size in here. Do they cost? Yes. Holy crap. So $2.75 for eight minutes. $2 for five minutes. It's kind of expensive actually. We've been paying $1.25 for five minutes. I'm sitting here eating an apple and I glance out the window and I realize the ocean's like right there. I'm sitting in the RV. I've never been this close to the ocean while camping. Check that out. You can almost see the waves out there. Ooh, I can see the waves. I'm in heaven right now, guys. Loving this adventure. Follow us on YouTube. Like and subscribe to catch our adventure on our way across the United States before we relocate to Portugal as one of our home bases.